Hi, this is Ramu, Dean Skill Development, Institute of Aeronautical Engineering, Hyderabad. In today, we are going to see a new problem in the series of FANG coding interview questions. So, today's problem is first unique character in a string, right? So, before going to the uh, the detailed description of the problem statement, see the companies ask the same question in the interview process. Here, I mentioned the top companies, all the top companies ask the same question in the interview process, right? Let us see the, uh, the problem description. So given a string, right? They are going to the one string and we need to find non-repeating character, right? So we should find the non-repeating character in it, right? Return its index. If it is does not exist and return minus one. What it means? For example, see the input, given input. The input is, for example, A, B, C, A, right? This is your input. Then I need to check that whether how many times A is repeated, right? A is repeated two times and B is repeated one time. C is repeated one time, right? And first non-repeated character. Yes, this is the first non-repeated character. For the respective B index, what is the index of this one? This is the 0, this is the 1, this is the 2 and this is the 3. The index is 1, right? So output is 1. And as well as for example, for example, your input is like this. So for example, your input is A, B, C, A, B, C. Right? Your indexes are 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. Right? Now see how many times A is repeated? A is repeated 2 times. Right? B is repeated 2 times. Right? And C is repeated 2 times. All characters are repeated. So, in this case, you should return the minus 1 as your index. Got it? Minus 1 as your index. Now, we will see how to solve this problem. It is a simple thing by using by using hash dictionary or hash map technique. Right? We will see how to solve this problem. And this is the problem. See, lead code. For example, lead code is your, your input. Then, L, how many times L is repeated and how many times E is repeated, how many times T is repeated and how many times C is repeated. Like that, should find. And from that, you need to find out, find out which is the unique character. Right? See. And there is no any constraints they have given, constraints only English lower case letters, right? And this is our string, right? S contains a string. And from now onwards, I'm going to use a some nomenclatures, right? So the respective, the respective words for the respective variable names, right? So in the earlier problems we use generally S and I like not like that. From today onwards, we are going to use a some I'm, I'm going to follow the coding rules. The first first what is that? I need to find the length of the string, right? What is the length of the what is the length of the given string? Right? So the length of the given string is how to find the length of the given string? Using length function, right? Using length function. So length of s. And length of the function is there. I got it. Next, next, I need to store the data. I mean, uh, finding the frequency, right? I need to find the frequency. Here, the frequency is not required for me. Only that whether whether the particular character is repeated or not, right? After that, 
what I require? I need to find the index of the unique character, right? Here, my idea is I'm going to take a one dictionary or a hash map, right? Hash map. I'm going to check whether the character is repeated or not. The first time when the character comes, I'm going to store the particular respective index, respective index in the particular mapping, right? So what I'm going to do here, see, I'll explain. For example, I have a A, B, C, and A as my input, right? So for that, you know that the index is for this is 0 and 1, 2, 3. Got it? Then I store that simply C. A equal to A equal to C. A equal to initially I am going to store the index 0. Right? And B index is 1. Right? C index is also 2. And when comes a repetition, I simply replace this value with minus 1. Right? So, as my idea is here, simply I am going to make minus 1 for all repeated characters. Here, the frequency is not required for me. Right? If you find the frequency, what happened? Again, I need to check that which, which letter doesn't have a more than two times, doesn't repeat the more than two times. So instead of reducing that burden, so my hash map is going to make like this simply, right? Now we'll see how to implement this one. See here, what I'm going to do here, see here, I'm going to take one by one character, right? Before going to that, I'm going to hash, right? Hash map. Right, hash map, hash map equal to right dictionary. Then I'm going to take one by one character from the given string for i in s, yes, right? I in s. Now, so if you want nomenclature, so you should use the index here. No, 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 letter, right? So we'll get a letter, right? We get a one by one letter from the given string. Now I'm going to check that whether whether letter if the letter is there or not, whether the letter in in hash map hash map right. It means so letter in letter in hash map. Then the character is repeated, right? That means that case, what I'm going to do here, simply, 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 I'm going to make the particular character, the particular, the particular character index is the, the value is going to take minus one, right? Yes, here, yeah, that is fine. Here I should take the range because I require the indexes, right? H and here now it is not letter, this is the index now. Index, right? Here I should write that S of S of index. S of index in hash map. Not I. S of index in hash map. Then, then, so we should make that S of S of index index right what happened S of hash map of S of index means index means this is going to return the letter right the per particular letter I'm going to make I'm going to make minus one else if the letter is not there if the letter is not there, I am simply going to make that one as right respective index value. Got it? Respective index value. That's all.
Next, simply, right, we'll see what is there in the hash map. Right, for purpose, I'm going to print what is there in the hash map. So, if you print the hash map, let us run this code and it will print C. L contains 0, E contains minus 1, means E is repetition, right? That is why E contains minus 1. T contains 3, right? There is no more T's are there. And C contains 4, O contains, right? 5 and D contains 6. Got it? Only E is repeated. Check it in your code, lead code. L, E, E. 3 E's are there, right? That is why E is repeated. When the repetition is happened, I simply going to take that E value is minus 1. Yes, the program is working according to our, our concept, right? Now, here I am going to take one by one key value for I, one by one key value in hash map. How will get the keys? Right, hash map dot, right, hash map dot keys is a function is there, right? Key E Y S keys is a function, right? If you use a function, then you will get a all keys. Now, what do you need to check that? What do you need to check that? So, which key value, right? If, if hash map of hash map of key value, which key value, which key value is equal to, equal, sorry, is not equal to, is not equal to minus 1, then such case, you should return that value as your output, yes or no? That value as your output, return, sorry. Return hash map. Return hash map. Return hash map. Then, if there is no more, there is no more unique characters, then you simply return, simply return minus one, right? Simply return minus one. Let us see the output of this code. Yes, 0 and 0. The code is accepted. Now, let us submit the code. Yes, this one is accepted here. Yes, the code is accepted. And, and if you see that, what is the time complexity of this program? Here, we observe this, the time complexity of this code is here, what I used here, hash map is a technique, right? So that the time complex, the space complexity is goes to big O of n, right? Number of characters, it is not a number of characters, right? It goes to maximum of 26 only because we have only 26 characters, right? So again, the space complexity is goes to one only. Got it? And index is length, right? So this is the, the time complexity is we go of n, right? Here n is a length of length of the string. Length of the string. Got it? Here the space complexity is we go of a1, 1, 1, not n, because here the, the maximum size of the dictionary or hash map is 26 characters only. 26 characters only. Right? Got it? And hash map of index and for hash map. So, got it. This is the code. So, this is also very, very important uh, concept. See, most of the problems we are using uh, this kind of mapping. For the, for the finding the frequency, you just use a hashing is a technique. Got it? And we'll see that what is the um, and hash set is the technique. And this is the problem statement, right? First unique characters. Okay. Try to practice in the lead code. And you check the similar problems also, respective problems. Okay, try to solve it. Okay.
Thank you. Thank you very much. Like, share and subscribe. Hit the bell icon for more updates.